Why did I make the decision to live in Greenfield, Illinois, in Greene County? Uh, one, born and raised here. Um, every person that I know went, that, that I looked up to graduated from Greene County School, uh, Greenfield in particular. Um, my father was an educator here. Um, I remember riding to school with him at an early age, going to every football practice, going and, you know, following in his footsteps everywhere. Um, looking back on my educational career, I realized that most of the great things or accomplishments that I have are due back to the teachers and, and training I received here in Greenfield, Illinois. Uh, maybe from family members, maybe from longtime educators. Our school produced numerous uh, very successful people um, and, and you know, doctors, lawyers, you name it, and successful farmers, businessmen, and a lot of them still always have ties back to Greenfield. They may not live here, but they're back visiting. You'll see people nowadays that will come back and buy a home in the area just so they'll have a home to come back during homecoming. So that was a big draw for me, um, looking back. Kids aren't always going to stay around home and, and do what their family did. Um, I know for a fact football was a big draw that took my dad off the farm. Um, you know, both, my, both sides of my family, my mother's and my father's, are, come from farming families. Well, everyone, you know, around here, you, you know where your family farm used to be if you don't have it now type thing. And uh, we still currently have both our family farms and our family, but we don't farm it anymore. Um, and because we education, we wanted to do something different. And that wasn't, maybe it was hillsides and rocky ground in some areas too that didn't produce real good crops, but um, all those things tend to that. But in our area, you know, you want your children to do well. Um, I hope my children want to come back and live in Greene County, but I also hope that they want to go do what they want to do to be happy and be successful. Um, you know, there's probably not a lot of technology jobs in our area other than, you know, an IT director for a school or, you know, but we're pretty fortunate in Greenfield that we can drive to Springfield, Jacksonville, Alton, um, Quincy. Uh, my wife's had a job in all four of those big cities, you know, I, I say big cities, but in Illinois, that they're a lot larger than a, the village of Greenfield. Um, so we're, we're a little more centrally located in the county where we can track people travel in those areas and still live where they want to live. So um, depending on what you want to do, um, if the big cities you draw, Greenfield's not for you. Um, you know, we're local, we, you know, right now it's mushrooming season. In, November, we'll cancel school because it's deer season. And, and the girls, can, some of them, quite a few of them deer hunt. Some of them will shop. Um, you know, they can, they can do that as well. So we're a unique community when it comes to some of those things. Still tied to the, to the farming area because we're, we're surrounded by agriculture. So that's a big push here as well. Well, I, I think the, the center of the community, and, and the school is one of those focal points for the community and I think the community support and, and it comes from a long line of the school doing what it was supposed to do for for people and, and making you know kid, p kids and people successful and the real jobs. I have numerous people come up to me different times, hey what can we do to help out with this? What can we do to help out with that? You know volunteers, we'll, we'll get a lot more volunteers and I know times are changing in education where a lot of times when we have a volunteer we have to give them a background check and some of those things but um, the support for the school, I think, is one of those key ingredients. I mean, it's just kind of ingrained in everything. And, you know, this is a, uh, you, you have to say it, I think there's five or six churches in our town. So faith is important in this community as well. And I know I'm a public school, but still, you know, we have a, you know, a strong connection in our community with our students. And uh, I, I think, you know, religious Religion is a big part of that as well, interconnecting the community um, and community members coming together when somebody has something unfortunate happen. On May 1st in the early 80s, we had a tornado hit this town and that was all over Facebook, I guess. I'm not on Facebook, but um, thinking back, I was 12 or 13 years old and I remember everybody helping. We were loading, I was, I don't know, I guess I was, maybe I might have been 10, I don't know, but I was loading feed sacks out of the elevator into another business be, you know to keep things dry at that time and I still remember I was at the high school because my uncle was the janitor here in the school when I was 10 years old and he currently still is the janitor you know the custodian over here so it's a small town community but we rode out the tornado in the boiler room of the high school he was over here doing some work at that time so 
uh, small town. We're very proud of all our students. Um, we've had quite a few successful students. I can think of numerous students who work really hard in the classroom, score a, you know, an ACT somewhere in the range of 26 to 30, and, and, and does a really good job. Um, doesn't, you know, can compete with anybody anywhere, but they still are anchored to the roots here and, and you know, work hard, play a lot of sports, um, you know, maybe are involved in a lot of activities. Um, you know, we got a strong fine arts program here as well for a school of 120 students. I think this year we put on a, a musical, and numerous years we put on two musicals. Um, we got a first place recently at the Southwestern Class D uh, Vocal and Ensemble Contest. Um, so I, I, I don't know if I can pigeonhole any one of our students to be the same. And I know, you know, in rural areas they say, oh, they're all backward. No, I, I think. You know, our kids think that all of us adults are backward, just, just like we did our parents. Um, but we have some, you know, real successful students. I was talking to a colleague yesterday about coming in and giving our school an outside look on where we are with curriculum and assessments because I think whenever we're satisfied where we're at, we're not going to improve. And I think that's a mentality that Greene County always has. Um, it might not look like the, the wealthiest area in the world, but when you start looking, that, that person you meet on the street, they're probably a hard worker that they might surprise you on, on what they've accomplished in their life when you meet them on the street. And I think that says a lot about our community. Hard workers that don't always have to show what they have, but they've worked pretty hard and, and you know, you might see somebody that may not look like much to you, but they've earned the respect of a lot of people. And that's a lot of people in our county um, when you look at Greene County as a whole.